Voices in Ocean Shores video presentation. For. Just give it to me. Mom, my darling daughter, your mother has to leave you now. Daughter, don't cry. There's a secret compartment on the cane's handle. Hold it. If you leave me at this moment, you won't get to see me alive. I am dying. Life is unfair. Life is unfair. Mother is just dying of old age. Be careful with the jewelry. You will need it later on. After Mother dies, what is the first thing you must do? I must go searching for a woman. Mrs. Happy. And what do you do after you have found her? I should stay with her and learn from her Kung Fu techniques. And after that? After that, I should go to Ormei and find a temple near the bridge. A nun is waiting. The nun will be waiting. Mother has left something important with her. You can claim it with this comb. Mom, can you tell me what I should be looking for? You'll be handed a small steel box. In the box lies a secret connected to you. After its revelation, you'll have to carry out a mission for your own welfare. May God be with you and assist you. If you achieve all this, you can then burn this cane in memory of me and of your previous ancestors.
Gee, I'm sorry. Are you all right? Oh, oh dear. Hey, you. You better be more careful next oh, time. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Oh. oh, no. Look at this. Look at what you've done. You've soiled my master's clothing. He's extremely particular. Oh, no. You're in trouble. Uh, sorry, mister. Hey, hey. Hey, you. You're trying to pickpocket uh, him. Oh. How dare you, petty thief. You. Make he. Don't be rude. Master, this woman... Enough. Take care of the books on the floor. They're all dirty. <laughs> Sorry, sir. It was my fault. I was being careless. Don't blame him. Please accept my apology. Listen. I'll buy you a new robe, all right? Is that okay? Really? Mm -hmm. Promise. Really? When I have the money. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't worry about it. It's only a robe. I'll put it on your tab, okay? Mickey, you ready? Oh. <laughs> I love to travel to the misty land where the flowers bloom and the old creek flows. It's you again. Sorry. I still can't pay you back for soiling your robe. I've washed it already. And it looks really clean. But then if you insist, you can buy me a new one next time. A white one. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Huh? Master, what is she doing here? Mickey! She's my guest. I invited her for lunch. Huh? Make sure you take good care of her. Guest. Mm, that's right. I deliberately invited her to try your fish. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Master Wu, I don't understand. I thought only poor people were forced to travel like hobos. But you, you seem to be well off. Do you enjoy traveling around? <laughs> Indeed I do. And I learn a lot. There's a saying, it's much better to travel than to sit and study. to stay put. Miss Crystal, hmm? we're heading towards home. I'd like you to be my guest. Relax at my home. You can study with me. Oh, well, thank you for your invitation. But I can't because I must find someone. And I've got a lot of things to do. I'll take a rain check. Uh -huh. The fish is ready. <laughs> We, uh, hey, uh, Master, you first. <laughs> Miss Crystal.
Miss Crystal, time for us to say goodbye. You be careful. Hmm? Mm. Oh, yes. Keep this with you. If necessary, you can pawn it for money. Uh. Till we meet again. Where's the loner? I asked him to meet us here. Where can he be? I haven't seen him yet. Hmm. He should be here soon. Mister. Master! Have you checked out the Willow Estate? Master, we've checked the whole surrounding. There's nothing to worry about. I'm sure we can take them by surprise tonight. But... Spit it out! Just one thing. I've noticed that the old man's son has returned home. So there's one... <laughs> So the wimp has come home at last. This is just perfect. We can get all of them. Master, will we have any others besides us? I've hired two mercenaries to help us. Once they arrive, we will start a ambush. What do you want? I want to see your master. You want our master? Mm. Oh, you better come with me then. my house with a weapon. What is all this about? <laughs> Warren, what do you think? I'm visiting you, of course. <laughs> you sneaked into my estate like a thief. You should have come in through the front door, loner. And I'd have been happy to receive you like royalty. I'm ashamed of you. Warren, now don't be rude to your guest. Convince me otherwise. Okay, I'll give you a chance to explain. Listen, I'm here to clarify a doubt in my mind. Remember the incident at Cherry Blossom Villa. You know, we were in on that together. But there was a traitor. 
What you're saying is that the traitor was me? I suspected you a long time ago. Most recently, I've gotten proof that you were the last person to leave the place, correct? I was delayed because of my horse. He lost his footing. You might as well admit it. You helped our enemy. You helped the baby escape. We poisoned all their horses to cut them off. So tell me, my friend, where did they get the horse to escape? So, you are quite certain that I was the traitor? Correct. And tonight, we've come to settle the score with you. This is for you. Yeah. <laughs> this is... Why don't you open it up? <gasps> My lady! I'm from a poor background, but I'm not greedy. I came over to warn you of danger, purely out of duty. Master, Master, I won't accept this precious gift. Sister. Sister? Sister. Father wants to adopt you. Please accept this token as a sign of goodwill. Adopt me? My child. I'd like to have you as a daughter. Will you accept? Take it. Sister, you told me that you wanted a home so you could stay put. From now on, this is your permanent home. Get up. Please get up. Mistress, where do I put this? Cherry, here, come over here. No. Put those pictures down there, that's right. Uh, Ming Ming, come here. Uh, put this over here, will you? Uh, now look, don't hang it too high. I think that's just... Uh, another one over there. That's just the right height, I think. Yes, please. Let me help you with this. It, <laughs> you go over there, all right? <laughs> Father. Crystal, you're working hard. It's your birthday. I have the obligation to prepare everything. <laughs> Thank you. Everything looks great. Master! Master! <laughs> what is it? Master. Show it to me. Yeah. Take everything down. The party's cancelled. Yes, Master. Warren, I've come to wish you happy birthday. 
Thanks. Thank you. It's good to see an old friend again. Especially as this is my 50th birthday. Thousand Knives. After that coup at Cherry Blossom, where have you hidden yourself for the last 20 years? I've been searching for 20 years for that baby who disappeared. She has to be gotten rid of for our sake. You understand that? Have you found her, Len? I missed her every time. <sighs> I must give credit to that nursemaid. She's managed to hide her for 20 years. She never stayed in the same place for more than a month. Then why don't you give her a break? She will seek revenge and come looking for all of us. But my visit today has to do with something you've done. I want your confession. Did you help them behind our back? Did you betray us? Hmm. How dare you accuse me here? You have no manners. You better answer before I leave. What if I refuse to answer? Huh? I'll kill you. Then you can try. <laughs> I've managed to get help from the ninja. You'll have a tough time dealing with him. A thousand knives. You're a bastard. <laughs> this favor. There's no need. Goodbye. Huh? Master? Cherry, what is it? Mistress asks for you. Uh -huh. She says it's important and requests you go to her chamber. Eh? Jerry? Didn't you say that Mistress said it was urgent? Well, where is she? She's gone to get something, but she's told me to ask you to wait for her here. Oh? Huh? <laughs> you didn't have to prepare snacks. What do you got inside? Hmm? Something bitter? Never heard of bitter dessert. Huh, big mouth. I want you to reveal a secret. What kind of secret? About last night. Huh? Was there a secret? 
<laughs> so you've forgotten what a brain. Remember, there was a bloody fight last night. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Everything's forgotten now. That's not true. Someone's missing. We haven't found him yet. The intruder. Ah, oh, you're right. Father mentioned him to me this morning. He was wondering who the rescuer was. I know. You know something I don't? Mm-hmm. Of course. Who is he? It was you. <laughs> You're joking. I got him to pick up a sword. How can I rescue father? Oh, really? <laughs> Here, this is his gray robe. I found it hidden in your study. Huh? I give up. You're too smart. But I don't want to discuss it. And you must promise me to keep this a secret. I will not. Crystal. Well, maybe if you promise me two things. All right. What two? First, you have to tell me how you acquired your skills. And also, why you've kept it secret. Because Dad doesn't like it. He thinks I'm a scholar. One day, by accident, I ran into a master who passed on to me his Kung Fu. Last night, when Dad was in trouble, I had to come out of hiding and help him. So I covered my face. Mm -hmm. Second condition? Teach me this technique of yours, flying around. That was really something. That was Kung Fu, combined with boxing technique. OK, OK, that's what I want to learn. Once I can master the Kung Fu techniques that you teach me, then I'll be fearless. I can then go to find my master, like my mother told me. Master? Hmm? Uh, nothing. Brother, will you teach me your Kung Fu? Hmm? I love tea, especially jasmine tea. Drinking good tea is such a priceless enjoyment. Would you like to try some? Okay. Come on then, try it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Your turn. Try it. Use your finger to guide the pen. But use your wrist to try and move it. Now, raise it. Crystal, this stroke needs extra strength from your wrist. You see? There is something to give to you. You've given me too much already. And I mean that. How can I accept another present from you? Uh, what I've got here 
is something really special. You must have it. Oh. Uh -huh. Now, this item belonged to my beloved wife. Unfortunately, she died before me. She instructed me repeatedly to save it and give it to the bride of my son one day. So now, I'm giving it to you. No. I can't take it. Crystal, here, accept it. You can always return it if you change your mind. <gasps> Crystal, think about it. <gasps> oh, Crystal, <gasps> uh, there you are. Let's take a walk. My mission? My child, this is fate. You're lined up for some hardship. Anything else? Uh, how far is this place from Omei? About ten days. Mm, thank you. Ah, have a good rest, ma'am. Ah! <laughs> 
again Buddhist waiting for redemption from a Miss Moy. <laughs> Buddha bless you. My redeemer is here. Hmm? Madam Moy, please kill me, for this is what I deserve indeed. Please don't wait. I am ready now. What's this nonsense? My confession. Master, I don't know you. What matters is I know you. I see, but I've never seen you before. A long time ago, I used this sword to kill your mother. It is your chance now to take revenge on me. Old master, it seems you're quite determined to redeem your sins. I have taken my vow to repay for all of my crimes. Tell me something. How can you be certain I'm Miss Moy? Very easily. You look exactly like her. Your mother was a rare beauty. I was fortunate to know her. Are you certain that I am her daughter? No doubt about it. You look just like her. Lady, finish your job now. <laughs> oh, Master, you said you killed my mother, correct? That's right. I did kill her. I'm sorry. Old master? Wrong person. <laughs> Let me explain. Here. You're looking for a Miss Moy. I'm not Miss Moy. I'm Crystal. And my mother died of natural causes. She wasn't killed, so... Madam, if you really were Miss Moy, what would you do? I'd forgive you. Really? You have repented. Why should I kill you? I tell you what, if I meet Miss Moy, I'll ask her to spare you. What do you say? <laughs>
I failed you completely. I'm awful. I couldn't even hold on to the Caden box. How can I handle anything? I'm useless. What's down there? Something fun? <laughs> hey, wait for me. I want to jump down with you. Don't be stupid. You'll die if you jump. Huh? Really? Oh, you want to kill yourself? Tired of living? <gasps> That's right. So, step aside. Hey, I have a strong aversion towards suicides and death. <gasps> Too bad. I'm determined. Let go of me. Well, I'm determined too. I won't allow it. You dying in front of me. I won't let go of you. Hey, stop behaving like a child, hey? We gotta find a solution, huh? Let's make a bet, okay? At a time like this? Let's bet if you'll die or not. Well, let's hear it. If you lose your life, then you win. But if you survive the jump, then I win, of course. And if I win, you must become my maid for a year. Will you agree? Fine, I agree. Now you must let go of me. Okay. You'll lose! Ah, hey, 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 hey! You've lost! Madam, thank you for saving my life. I see. You've changed your mind. Yeah, it's cowardly to take one's life. Oh, good. You can repay me by being my maid for one year. And there are two conditions. What conditions? First, you must obey my instructions. Without resistance and without question, completely. I'll obey. Second, I love to tell interesting stories, but you just listen and don't interrupt, understand? That is all. Hmm? I understand. Good. Now, let's go. Where are we going? Hmm? You've forgotten your promise. I don't believe it. Madam, I won't ask any questions. Hmm. Don't you ever forget it. Now, let's take off on a trip. mood to start telling you a story. Uh, madam, must I remain like this to listen to you? Hmm, that's right. And don't you dare move. <laughs> Years ago, a tragic incident occurred. Based on the scramble for a rare sword, the owner of this sword was a man called Moy, who was a reputable young man. One night, trouble descended. He and his family were brutally massacred because someone wanted the sword. His whole estate was burnt to the ground. The massacre was not done by one, but many people ganged up together. Why were they so cold-blooded? Huh? huh? Hmm? You're asking questions. That's a no-no. End of story. <laughs> Keep your head up. You're getting uh, out of hand, dear. Crystal apologizes. Well? <laughs> You must stand here till morning. Oh. <laughs> well, not bad. I'm going to continue on with the story. As I said before, a whole gang of people descended on Moy. They claimed they had information that Moy was the one who burglarized their estates. 
and stole their priceless amulets. Moy denied it outright because he was framed. So the intruders demanded to search his estate. Since he was innocent, he consented right away. They started searching, and would you believe what then happened? They found the amulets in his garden. Moy was really stuck, the poor guy. But he knew all this had been planned ahead by some conspirators. And in fact, all they really were after was his priceless sword. And as a final resort, he requested a month's time to find evidence to clear his name. Since Moy had a clean record and reputation, they consented. But as they were leaving, they were ambushed and murdered, every one of them. Moy was accused of being a murderer and a thief. Hey, do you want to know the end of this long story? Well, you've been extremely obedient, so I will tell you. Let's see. After they burnt the house down, the conspirators found out that everyone was killed except for the baby girl and her nursemaid. Finding the baby girl became their obsession because they were afraid after she grew up, she would come after them. But they never found her. Her nursemaid was a very devoted woman who protected her till she died. Hey, if that girl was alive, she would be 20. She will be almost as old as you. <sighs> it is time. Hmm? It's time for what? Hmm. Time for us to go our separate ways. A year back, I had a bet with you. You lost and you fulfilled your promise. A year is now over. Huh. It's time for you to carry on your mission. Uh, madam. It's time for you to jump. Huh? Jump down? You... Do you think I'm crazy? Hey! You were very determined a year ago. I extended your life. For a year. But you must jump today. Well... Have you forgotten the reason you wanted to jump? Have you forgotten who you are? I have not. I haven't forgotten. What keeps you from jumping? Okay. I will jump down. I want my mother. I'll kill myself! Okay, okay. I've taught you really well. I'm extremely proud of myself. You've broken grounds. Ha! Crystal, you've achieved the most difficult trick in Kung Fu. And you haven't let your teacher down at all. Ha ha! <laughs> Thank you for your patience, noble mistress. <gasps> okay, I've got something for you. I've kept it for one year. Mistress, where did you get it from? I grabbed it back from a pickpocket. Where is he now? He's gone! Well, that's enough, enough. Hey, what are you waiting for? Huh? You want me to jump again? <laughs> Do you want your mother's cane? Yes, mistress, I'll jump now! I see. So that was the story of my life. 
But you were telling me. Of course. You are, in fact, that baby Moy. Your nursemaid gave you the name Crystal. Mistress, why didn't you tell me sooner? It's because you were not ready to handle your enemies. Now you are. You have the strength to fight. Well, at least, tell me who the man was, the one who secretly helped me. I could thank him for saving my life. <laughs> I really don't know who he was, nor did your nursemaid. <laughs> hey, where are you going? I promised nursemaid, right before she died, that if I found out about my past, I would burn the cane as a sign of respect for her. Hmm. Hidden inside the cane. Oh! This is the priceless sword that everyone was fighting to possess. Hmm. I think your father hid the sword and the cane and left it for you. This will be your revenge tool. Ha ha! Hmm. Your nursemaid did a good job of keeping it well hidden. Ha ha! Ha Mistress, will you teach me your swordsmanship? I'm serious. Oh no. That's too rough for a girl. And dangerous. Ah, no dice, no dice. <laughs> Mistress, I am determined. Please fulfill my wish. Well, hey, I guess I have no choice. But if you become a tomboy, don't blame me.
No such person. Hmm. Three years ago, you invaded Willow Estate, but you were driven away. Isn't that true, Loner? Huh? Who are you? The Avenger. That's right. I guess you've become a hermit to stay away from me. <laughs> It's been a long time. I've been waiting here for two days. Really? You were certain I'd be here? You're going to my house to kill my father? Yes, I am. He is my enemy. Because he took part in a murder. Crystal, I'm here to stop you from going any further. <laughs> no. I cannot change my mind. In that case, you'll have to kill me. I'm my father's son. I must save him from your sword. Don't. Don't force me, brother. Stay back. Stay back. <laughs> Oh! 
Hmm. Crystal, you're a smart girl. Your calligraphy's improved. <laughs> no, I must practice more. <laughs> for you to do that. I did it. To express my gratitude. I adopted you, dear. For yourself. No need to thank me for anything. Do what you have to do. Please understand my position. Mm. Yes. Do it now. Where is your sword? Too merciful. Now take care. What can I tell the girl? Tell her what really happened. Uh, but I was at the scene of the crime. Huh? <laughs> Very well. I guess you've become senile. You mean the man who saved Crystal is just going to stand here and let her kill you? Uh, Mistress! Really? You mean stepfather saved me? And nursemaid? Hmm. <laughs> Papa. 
God. Daughter, stand up. Father doesn't blame you. Crystal. Crystal, you still have one last enemy. Who is at large out there somewhere? Moy is the one who stole our amulets. Whoever sent this note was the one behind the conspiracy. Father, you don't know who he is? Mm. I have suspected one person, but I haven't got the proof. Why not? Because since your father died, I could not find any trace of this man. Who is this person? Your father's colleague, Simon Ching. And I know where he is. ago, we met at this very spot. That's right. My name is Crystal. Now it's Crystal Moy. I'm here to ask you one thing. Were you the person who plotted against my whole family? Oh, Buddha bless you. Buddha bless you. You are dropping a serious charge on me, my dear lady. You realize that, do you? Listen, this note here, did you send it? How can you prove that I was the one who sent that note out? This character resembled the one written on the rock. <laughs> you are very smart and observant. Uh, no one else would have noticed the word. Both of them were written by me. Now you have uncovered the secret. Why did you commit such a cold-blooded act? For a rare item. What item? The sword that you have in your hand. You would commit murder? Something as little as a sword? That's right. I studied under the master with your father for many years with the sole intention of acquiring the sword. I stole the sword from the old master, but your father caught me and took it back. So, from that very day, I swore I'd kill your father and repossess the sword. You're still unrepentant today. I'm going to kill you. Didn't you say you'd be still and let me kill you? <laughs> You're wrong. I was waiting for the priceless sword and not you, my dear. I knew your father would leave the sword for you. For 20 years, I've put on this act as a reborn monk just to attract you to me. And now, you have delivered the sword straight to me. I see. I bet you were the man who took the cane and box. Am I right? Really? You're not a bit repentant. If that nosy and stupid Madam Happy didn't help you, you would have joined your parents long ago. Huh? 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 
do you like the lava? I bet you're not used to this piercing heat and flames. Crystal, enjoying it, dear? Damn bitch, you're not my match at all. If you're smart, dear, leave the sword and I'll let you live. Don't be stubborn and stupid. The sword is here. If you want it, you can come and get it. Damn you!
The copyright proprietors, Ocean Shores Video, have licensed this video cassette for private home use only and prohibit any other use, including but not limited to rental, duplication, or performance in public in whole or in part. Violators will be prosecuted under the appropriate copyright law in their country.